Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here or just stopping by, hello, my name is Jennifer, and I would love it if you stuck around and subscribed to my channel. I do a giveaway every single 100 subscribers, and we are on the road to 500 right now. So, happy Pride Month. What's up? I am an ally. I totally support equal rights for everyone. I don't see the big deal in allowing somebody to do something that makes them happy. It doesn't affect other people at all, and... <sighs> I know it looks like I'm just wearing another black shirt, but this one is like matte and then like shiny right here. It says equality and this is the look I came up with this year. I've seen this all over the place and I wanted to take, um, I wanted to try to recreate it a little bit. It didn't come out quite as cool as how I was anticipating it, but I still like how it came out. My ceiling fan is on 3000 clicking. And I don't know how to fix it. Anywho, also, let's just go ahead and get out of the way. My roots are hanging out, and I saw this really cute hairstyle on TikTok because I've started that mess. And uh, it definitely looked cuter on the girl. Maybe if I didn't have blonde roots hanging out, it would it would have come out a little, a little cooler, but it's okay. So, I'm going to stop rambling and get on into the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure, you know. You have a thumbs up, you subscribe to me. We have a good time here. All right, stop rambling. <laughs> Let's get on into the video, guys. Whew. Okay, I have a very specific <laughs> plan, and I don't know how it's gonna work, but I keep seeing it everywhere, and I wanna try it. So, that's what we're gonna do today. Let me wash a bunch of brushes real quick. I want this side to be yellow, green, and blue, and I want this side to be pink, orange, and purple. Let's try. <laughs> I'm going to start. I have like one, two, three, four, five. I have six palettes sitting out in front of me. Um, they all have one specific thing in them that I need. So I'm going to start with the ColourPop uh -huh Honey palette, and I'm going to take Soft Sweet Spot. Excuse me. I'm going to take the bright yellow, man, the bright yellow, and I'm going to start putting this in my crease on the inner half of my eye. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I did that wrong. We're off to an excellent start, actually. Now, I'm actually going to go into the Jeffree Star and Morphe palette, and I'm going to take Nate. Oh, that makes me sad. Anywho, I'm going to take Nate. It's this very pretty Kelly Green shade. I got a thing with green eyeshadow. I don't know what it is, but I'm actually going to put this on the inner half of my crease. And we're just going to build that up a little bit. And apparently I'm going to do the entire lid. It's fine. Okay, we're there, we're good, we're doing excellent. So now we need a blue and we have some options here. I have the Alyssa Edward palette and we have Dream It, which is super pretty matte cobalt blue, but I also have out my Profusion Electric Blues palette. And I think I'm gonna go in with Nautical. I don't think I've used this shade, but I just want a bright, blue and we're gonna do the same thing but put it on the outer half might have put too much night and it's okay by the way if there's a shit ton of background noise my heat had to be turned on this morning because I woke up and it was 62 in my house Blues, in my opinion, okay, low-key, in my opinion, most bright colors are really patchy. There's a f very few <laughs> bright colors that I like. I'm actually going to go in a little bit with Dream It and just kind of pack that in. I'm gonna go back with Nate 
and do the same packing and just marry the two together in the center of my eye. Oh, now we're gonna leave this right there and I'm gonna get the Orange You Glad palette from ColourPop as well. And we're gonna take Sunkissed to start and we might have to go in with a little bit of Tangerine Dreams, but for the moment, Sunkissed. What's wrong? Sorry, my dog's behind you guys on the bed. So what is this Sunkissed? Oh no. I'm feeling it. So to get these super pigmented in my crease, I'm almost just packing them in instead of buffing them. So now we need a purple. What's my favorite purple? I'm gonna go in with Believe. Should I have to an orange to pink or pink to purple? You know what? No take backs. No take backs, because I'm trying to film early in the morning when my kid is still asleep instead of, I normally do it at night when she goes to bed, so. Oh yeah, that was a good call. So we're just gonna pack that. Probably should not have done <laughs> orange purple. No take backs though. Now that we got it kind of laid down, I'm gonna go a little bit of a blending spree here. Oh, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Okay, I'm gonna quickly hop off the screen and cut both of my creases out very, very quickly and I will be right back. Did these go as planned? No, no they did not. And we're gonna try to make it work. So now, for the cool part, we are going to go in with the uh -huh Honey palette and I'm gonna take Sweet Spot, which is just the bright yellow, and we're gonna pack this onto the lid on the green blue side. A little patchy, but we're gonna go back in a minute and fix a little bit of that. A little bit of what? So I think for this side, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna do pink, but I can't decide if I wanna use Self Made <clears throat> from Jeffree Star or if I wanna use Texas Made. Oh, isn't that cute? From Melissa Edwards. I think we're gonna try with Self Made because it's a little, I think it'll maybe blend a little bit better. I don't think I've ever used that shade. Looks very bright though. So, same situation, we're just going to pack this over the concealer. Okay, I'm going to take my finger in Brick Road from Alyssa Edwards. I personally think that if you only get one collab that um, Anastasia has done, I, by far vote for Alyssa Edwards. It's such a good rainbow palette, but you have a few neutrals in there where you can really bump up and do whatever you want. Just saying. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is go back through and blend these creases just a little bit, and I'm gonna take the blue and the purple and bring them in a little bit and kind of blend everything together, and I'm gonna speed that up so you're not sitting there staring at me for 45 minutes. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with two on that same brush we put the hot pink down. And this is just some shimmery shade. And I'm just gonna throw that right over the pink to break mm, 
that did not go how I wanted it. It's fine. <laughs> On this side, I'm going to go in with Palooza, which is just full-on glitter. Okay, now quickly I'm going to hop off the screen, clean up all of this fallout, throw on my face makeup, and some eyebrows, and we'll be right back. My baby is starting to wake up. I'm going to go grab her, and also while I'm already off the camera, I'm just going to take this dark blue and this purple, smudge them onto my lower lash lines, and I'm going to throw on a wing and some lashes, and I actually found these, and they look pretty pretty dramatic. These are the Kiss Mink Effect collection in the style lady. They look pretty dramatic. So we're going to throw those on, smoke out our lower lash line, and do a little bit of a wing. And I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, that was a wild ride. And I have to tell you guys, I'm not a big fan of these eyelashes. Uh, when, for one, the band is so thick that I can't get them to form to my eyes. And then just past that, they're very heavy and very stabby and uncomfortable. I'm going to go in with Believe from the Jeffree Star palette with Morphe, which is what's highlighting my face and already on my inner corner. I'm going to throw this under my brow bone and a little at the front of my brows. I don't know why. I really like doing that. So... I am also going to take a black pencil liner, this is just from NYX, and do my waterline very quickly. Beautiful. I'm feeling it. And for lips today, just to be on a simple side, I'm going to take the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. This is in the shade Almost Natural. This is literally just a nude. I thought I had Ellie back to sleep for a minute and she is waking up again. I don't know if you can hear her. So this is it for my first official Pride Month look. I hope you guys liked it. It didn't come out exactly how I was thinking, but I do like how it turned out other than these freaking lashes. They're so thick. They are so thick. So, um, if you like the video while you're watching, give it a thumbs up down below. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. We're doing another giveaway at 500 subscribers. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Happy Pride Month, guys.